Prohibition, also known as the Noble Experiment, was a nationwide constitutional ban on the production, importation, transportation, and sale of alcoholic beverages in the United States from 1920 to 1933. The Prohibition era was a time of significant change in American society, marked by the rise of organized crime, increased government regulation, and the emergence of new cultural norms. This article will provide a comprehensive overview of the Prohibition era, including its historical context, major events, and significant cultural and political developments. We will also explore the impact of prohibition on American society, from its effects on organized crime and law enforcement to its role in shaping the modern American drinking culture. The Temperance Movement The Temperance Movement was a social and political movement that emerged in the early 19th century with the goal of promoting abstinence from alcohol. It was driven by religious groups and other organizations who believed that alcohol was responsible for many of the social ills of the time, including poverty, crime, and family violence. One of the key features of the temperance movement was the prominent role of women. Many women were active in the movement, and they saw it as a way to improve the lives of their families and communities. Women's organizations such as the Women's Christian Temperance Union WCTU, were instrumental in promoting the message of temperance and in lobbying for laws to restrict or ban the sale and consumption of alcohol. The culmination of the temperance movement's efforts was the passage of the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution in 1919, which banned the manufacture, sale, and transportation of intoxicating liquors. This amendment paved the way for prohibition, which lasted from 1920 to 1933. The Prohibition Laws Explanation of the Volstead Act and its Impact The Volstead Act, also known as the National Prohibition Act, was enacted by Congress in 1919 to enforce the 18th Amendment, which prohibited the production, transportation, and sale of alcohol in the United States. The Volstead Act provided specific regulations for the enforcement of prohibition, such as defining intoxicating liquor as any beverage containing more than 0.5% alcohol by volume. The purpose of the Volstead Act was to provide federal agents with the tools they needed to enforce prohibition. It established penalties for violating prohibition, including fines and imprisonment, and created a system for licensing the production and sale of alcohol for medicinal and industrial purposes. The regulations established by the Volstead Act had a significant impact on the production and consumption of alcohol in the United States. Prohibition led to the closure of many breweries and distilleries, and the demand for alcohol continued to grow, leading to the rise of organized crime and the illegal production and sale of alcohol. Overview of the 18th Amendment and its Enforcement The 18th Amendment, also known as the National Prohibition Act, was a constitutional amendment that prohibited the manufacturing, sale, and transportation of intoxicating liquors in the United States. It was ratified on January 16, 1919 and went into effect on January 17, 1920. The purpose of the 18th Amendment was to reduce alcohol consumption and the social problems associated with it, such as crime and poverty. It was believed that prohibition would improve public health and morality, reduce domestic violence, and increase productivity in the workplace. However, the unintended consequences of prohibition were far-reaching and often negative. The Bureau of Prohibition, established under the Department of the Treasury, was responsible for enforcing the prohibition laws. The Bureau had a workforce of approximately 3,000 agents tasked with shutting down illegal alcohol production and distribution. To enforce the prohibition laws, the Bureau of Prohibition relied on a variety of tactics. These included raiding speakeasies and illegal distilleries, confiscating alcohol and equipment, and arresting those involved in the production and distribution of illegal alcohol. The Bureau also employed undercover agents to infiltrate and gather evidence on illegal operations. Despite their efforts, law enforcement officials faced significant challenges in enforcing prohibition laws. Corruption, lack of resources, and the public's general disregard for prohibition laws made it difficult to curb the illegal production and distribution of alcohol. Challenges in Enforcing Prohibition Overview of the challenges faced by law enforcement in enforcing prohibition laws. Widespread Corruption Explanation of the corruption among law enforcement officials, including bribery and collusion with bootleggers and organized crime groups. Rise of organized crime. Discussion of the challenges posed by the rise of organized crime and the development of bootlegging networks, including the involvement of notorious gangsters such as Al Capone. Social attitudes towards prohibition. Explanation of the social attitudes towards prohibition, 
including widespread non-compliance with the law and the emergence of a speakeasy culture. Unintended Consequences of Prohibition Laws Prohibition laws, while intended to curb alcohol consumption, had a number of unintended consequences on American society. In this section, we will discuss the rise of organized crime, public health issues, and the impact of prohibition laws on the economy and society. The Rise of Organized Crime One of the most notable unintended consequences of prohibition was the rise of organized crime. With the production and sale of alcohol now illegal, criminal organizations saw an opportunity to profit from the demand for alcohol. These organizations, such as the infamous Chicago outfit led by Al Capone, became increasingly powerful and corrupt taking over the production and distribution of alcohol in many parts of the country. Public Health Issues Prohibition laws also had a number of negative public health consequences. With alcohol production and sale now driven underground, the quality and safety of the alcohol being consumed was often questionable. This led to an increase in cases of alcohol poisoning and other related health issues. Additionally, the illegal production and sale of alcohol contributed to the spread of organized crime and the rise of violent crime in many areas. Impact on the Economy and Society Prohibition laws had a significant impact on the economy and society as a whole. The production and sale of alcohol had previously been a major industry, employing many people and generating a significant amount of tax revenue. With the implementation of prohibition laws, many people were put out of work, and the government lost a major source of revenue. Additionally, prohibition laws led to a shift in social attitudes towards alcohol consumption. Prior to prohibition, drinking was a socially accepted activity, and many Americans enjoyed a drink with their meals or at social gatherings. However, with the passage of prohibition laws, alcohol consumption became associated with criminal activity and was increasingly stigmatized. This led to a significant change in social norms around alcohol consumption that persisted even after prohibition was repealed. Bootlegging and speakeasies Bootlegging refers to the illegal production and distribution of alcoholic beverages during prohibition. It was a major industry during this time, as many people continued to consume alcohol despite its ban. Bootleggers produced alcohol in secret locations, such as hidden stills in rural areas, and transported it to urban areas for sale. Along with bootlegging, speakeasies emerged as a popular place for people to consume alcohol in secret. These were illegal bars and nightclubs that operated during Prohibition, often hidden behind unmarked doors or disguised as other businesses. The culture of speakeasies included secret passwords and codes to gain entry, as well as jazz music and flappers. However, the rise of speakeasies was also linked to organized crime, as gangs took advantage of the demand for alcohol to establish control over the industry. This led to increased violence and corruption, with gangsters engaging in activities such as bootlegging, smuggling, and bribery to maintain their power. Organized Crime and Gangsters During Prohibition, organized crime flourished in the United States, particularly in major cities such as Chicago, New York, and Detroit. The demand for alcohol remained high, and organized crime syndicates took advantage of this by establishing vast bootlegging networks, smuggling in alcohol from overseas, and producing their own illegal spirits. The gangsters who ran these operations became household names, and none more so than Al Capone, who rose to become the most infamous mob boss in American history. Capone's reign of terror in Chicago lasted for years, and he was responsible for numerous violent crimes, including the infamous St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929, where seven members of a rival gang were brutally murdered. Capone's wealth and influence were legendary, and he became a symbol of the corruption and lawlessness that characterized Prohibition-era America. Organized crime had a significant impact on society during Prohibition, leading to an increase in violence, corruption, and political instability. The gangsters who controlled the illicit alcohol trade had immense wealth and power, which they used to bribe politicians, law enforcement officials, and judges, and to intimidate their rivals and enemies. This corruption eroded public trust in government institutions and law enforcement, leading to a breakdown in the social fabric of many American communities. The rise of organized crime during Prohibition also had long-term consequences, as many of the criminal syndicates that emerged during this period continued to operate well into the 20th century, extending their reach into other illegal activities such as gambling, drugs, and prostitution. Today, the legacy of organized crime during Prohibition can still be seen in the popular culture of the United States, from movies and television shows to novels and music. 
moonshine and home distilling. During Prohibition, moonshine became a popular term for illicitly produced liquor. It was typically made from corn mash, sugar, water, and yeast, and distilled in homemade stills. Moonshining was prevalent in rural areas where access to legal alcohol was scarce. It was a lucrative business for bootleggers, who would sell the illicitly produced liquor at a high markup. Home distilling was also common during Prohibition. Many households had stills in their basements, and people would distill alcohol for personal consumption or to sell to others. However, homemade liquor was often of poor quality and could be dangerous to consume, as it was often contaminated with lead or other toxic substances. Additionally, home distilling was illegal, and those caught producing or selling homemade liquor could face significant legal consequences. The production of moonshine and home distilling contributed to the rise of organized crime during Prohibition, as bootleggers and gangsters took advantage of the high demand for illicit alcohol. The illegal nature of the industry also made it difficult for law enforcement officials to regulate, leading to increased corruption and violence. The consumption of poorly produced liquor also contributed to the public health issues associated with prohibition, such as alcohol poisoning and blindness. The Jazz Age and Flappers The Jazz Age, also known as the Roaring Twenties, was a period of significant cultural change in the United States. The end of World War I brought an influx of new social attitudes and lifestyles, including a newfound focus on leisure and entertainment. One of the key aspects of this cultural shift was the rise of the flapper, a term used to describe young women who embraced new fashions and lifestyles that challenged traditional gender roles. Flappers were known for their short haircuts, shorter skirts, and loose-fitting clothing that allowed for greater freedom of movement. They also challenged traditional notions of femininity by smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, and participating in activities that were once considered the exclusive domain of men. The flapper lifestyle was often associated with jazz music, dancing, and late-night parties. Alcohol played a significant role in the jazz age, with the consumption of illegal alcohol becoming a popular pastime. Speakeasies, secret bars where alcohol was served, proliferated during this time and many flappers were regular patrons. The popularity of jazz music and dancing also helped to create a culture of nightlife that centered around the consumption of alcohol. Despite the legal restrictions on alcohol consumption during Prohibition, the demand for alcohol remained high, and many Americans continued to find ways to obtain and consume illegal alcohol. The cultural changes of the jazz age helped to fuel this demand and the rise of flappers and their embrace of alcohol as a symbol of freedom and rebellion had a significant impact on the Prohibition era. Women's Suffrage and Prohibition During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, women played a significant role in the temperance movement, which advocated for the prohibition of alcohol. Women believed that alcohol was the cause of many social ills, including poverty, domestic violence, and political corruption. They argued that prohibition would improve the lives of women and children and create a more virtuous society. The passage of the 18th Amendment, which established prohibition, was greatly influenced by the support of women's suffrage organizations. Women had recently gained the right to vote in 1920, and many saw prohibition as a way to exercise their political power and improve society. During prohibition, the roles of women changed in several ways. With the closure of saloons and other drinking establishments, women were no longer excluded from public life in the same way. Women began to attend speakeasies, where they could drink and socialize with men on more equal terms. Some women even became involved in bootlegging and other illegal activities, challenging traditional gender roles and expectations. Overall, women played a significant role in the temperance movement and the passage of prohibition. The movement helped to empower women politically and socially, but prohibition also had unintended consequences that affected women in complex ways. The Repeal of Prohibition The events that led to the repeal of prohibition were complex and multifaceted. Many factors, including the economic impact of the Great Depression, the rising power of organized crime, and the increasing public demand for the legalization of alcohol, contributed to the eventual repeal of prohibition. On December 5, 1933, the 21st Amendment to the Constitution was ratified, which repealed the 18th Amendment and effectively ended Prohibition. The repeal of Prohibition had a significant impact on American society, particularly on the economy. Legal alcohol-related industries, such as brewing and distilling, were able to resume operations, creating jobs and boosting the economy. Additionally, the government was able to generate tax revenue from the sale of alcohol. 
The legacy of prohibition in America is complex and multifaceted. On one hand, prohibition was a failure in achieving its stated goal of reducing alcohol consumption and improving public health. It also had unintended consequences, such as the rise of organized crime and increased public health issues related to homemade alcohol. On the other hand, prohibition had lasting impacts on American society and culture. It highlighted the tension between individual liberties and the government's ability to regulate behavior for the greater good. It also had a significant impact on the role of women in society, as women played a prominent role in the temperance movement and the eventual passage of prohibition. Overall, the legacy of prohibition serves as a cautionary tale about the unintended consequences of government regulation and the importance of balancing individual liberties with public health and safety concerns. In this article, we explored the history and impact of prohibition in America. We discussed the Volstead Act and the 18th Amendment, as well as the unintended consequences of prohibition laws, such as the rise of organized crime and public health issues. We also delved into the cultural changes of the time, including the rise of speakeasies, flappers, and jazz music. We talked about the impact of prohibition on women's roles in society and the economy, and we examined the repeal of prohibition and its lasting legacy. It is important to continue exploring the history and impact of prohibition to better understand its relevance to today's society. By learning from the mistakes of the past, we can work towards creating a safer and more just society.